Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm altering a composition book and I am taking an emery board and filing around the entire perimeter of the book. I've already done the back of the book and um, now I'm doing the front. That way it gives me a white core so I can go around with my stays on black and color it with the black. That way if any of the paper shows through, you don't even see it, you just see the black. So I'm going to go around both the um, front and back outside of the book and the inside of the book as well. I normally don't get bright colors like this if I'm altering a composition book. I try and get the darker colors, the black and the gray, but that's all they had, so I had no choice. So I just took my time and made sure to um, file off the edges so you don't see it. Here I'm using the ornamental die from Tim Holtz. And I cut out two pieces of lightweight chipboard, so I'm, I'm doubling them up to make it a little bit thicker. And I'm using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to do that. I'm going to cover it with a piece of paper and use my brayer to push it down. You'll see me do that throughout the entire um, gluing process. That way, if any glue seeps out, it, it, it um, sticks to the, the paper and not my hands. There's a um, title that I printed out for my computer using the Silhouette Studio and um, just cut it out to match the die shape that I'm using. It says day-to-day -day stuff. And here's some paper that I printed out for my computer. I'm just cutting it down to the size that I need. I've already cut the other three sheets of paper that I need to cover the book. I'm going to use my quarter inch corner punch and later I realized that I need to use the half inch side. So I'll fix that later but right now I'm using the quarter inch side. And now I'm going to use my black foot distress ink to go around all the edges of the paper, the front, back cover, and the inside pages. And I also go around this die cut shape to give it just a little, a soft black edge so it stands out from the paper a little bit more. Here's when I realize it, it needs to be a little bit more rounded, so I use the half inch side and then I re ink all the edges of all of them. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry. I've, um, I've done a lot of these books and I've used all different types of glue Mod Podge, um, Fabric Tac, uh, ATG, Tape Runner, Glue Stick. And I have found that the quick dry works the absolute best without warping your paper. And when you're covering the inside, you don't have a lot of time because it's paper against paper. When you're gluing the paper to the outside of the composition book, it has a glossy finish so you can move it around a little bit more. So when it comes to the inside, you kind of want to get it um, pretty much right where you want it. Um, you have a little time to adjust it if you need to. But I, I make sure to go around the entire sheet of paper and definitely right up to the edge. Again, I use my scrap piece of paper and just that way if any glue seeps out, which it usually does, it doesn't make too much of a mess. I've recently just made about 25 of these for a um, craft sale. And uh, I have I have two two left over, so I show those at the end in uh, pictures. I just want to make sure to go around all the edges to make sure I got glue on all the edges so it sticks down. And here's where you have time to 
kind of move it around and adjust it. And then of course you want to make sure to, to really press it on all the edges, make sure it adheres well. I then go back around the outside and inside pages with the black foot just to make sure if there's any white showing it covers up and it looks finished. The dress form I cut out from the Cameo. I'm using a spray adhesive to adhere that down. I think the brand is Duro. I picked it up at um, Michael's. The hot glue gun that I used is by Aileen. I got it from Michaels with a coupon, and it's the best glue gun I've ever had. You can almost, even with it on high, you can almost touch the glue. I wouldn't suggest to do that, but you can almost touch the glue right after you put it on something. I've never been burned by it. You still want to be careful, of course, though. And there I'm just using a scrap piece of ribbon, black ribbon that I had for the dress form. And I'm going to tie around some um, seam binding. This is winter white. I'm putting a little ATG just to hold it in place on the inside of the cover. I'm using my tweezers just to hold it while I put a knot in it so it holds it tight. And I will put a double bow in it. I'm adding some more of that um, trim that I got from the wedding department in uh, Michael's with my hot glue. And um, at the end I show you a couple of the other ones that I had left from the craft show. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to be adding some pearls here with their, by recollection, their flat back pearls. And I like to use glossy accents under them just so I don't have to worry about them coming up in any way. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.